Welp, it's about the best time of the year. Um, kinda, not really, but week seven of the NFL season has wrapped up. It is concluded. We are almost halfway through. Hard to believe that, but, you know, it is, you know, getting real close to the halfway point of the season. <clears throat> So, with that being said, we got a lot of blowouts, just a lot of disgusting matchups uh, during this week that were supposed to be good, but they ended up not being very good at all. Let's talk about the Chiefs Broncos first. Of course, Patrick Mahomes um, got hurt, tried to do a QB sneak, ankle, gone. You know, he'll be out for a couple games, uh, but. The Broncos really didn't prove much of a challenge anyway, so, you know, 36, 30 to 6 was the final there. The Packers easily took care of the Raiders, really wasn't much in doubt. You know, Aaron Rodgers kept throwing touchdowns like he was a madman out there. It was crazy, let me tell you that. Raiders defense stood no chance. Falcon season is pretty much over, so, you know, um, 37-10, Rams just absolutely put a beating on them, you know. Uh, ugly game it down there in D.C., but you know what? The 49ers is still undefeated. Jimmy G and the, and the gang down there from Santa Clara only won by nine. They hard to believe that, but they shut out the Redskins. So, you know, three field goals was just enough to beat the Redskins. That's how bad they are. Uh, the Colts, they beat the Texans up. I don't know what in the world the Texans were doing. Most of this game, it looked like the Colts basically manhandled the Texans for pretty much the entire game. It was still a back-and-forth game, though, but it was more so the Colts that had the upper hand. The very end. There was just some weird things that happened during this game, like, you know, Texans trying to conserve time. Go out in the back of the end zone and give up a safety. I don't know what in the world that was about. But okay, um, Vikings-Lions, man. The Lions just have no luck. Let me tell you, they have no luck at all. If, if, if Kirk Cousins is going to keep throwing dimes to Thielen, digs like that, you know, it, it, it's going to be a long season. If he keeps playing like that, it's going to be a long season. Let me tell you that for some of the teams up on the Viking schedule. Um Jags beat the Bengals. Bengals are trash, so it really doesn't matter, you know. You hate you hate to see it. Um, you really hate to see it. The Bengals just look absolutely terrible, you know. Did really did really matter. This game does not matter at all. Cards, Cards, Giants. Um, Aiden Jones still looking like a vintage Eli Manning out there, you know. Um, throwing picks, losing fumbles. And the defense is still pretty bad for the Giants. Let me tell you that. Um, hard to believe that the Cardinals are now 500. It's crazy. Let me tell you. Um, Bills, Dolphins. Dolphins are absolutely garbage, man. Let me tell you this. Um, I mean, we, we really shouldn't have to go over Dolphins games every week. They're just absolutely terrible. Let me tell you. It, it's really bad. Just it, it's time. It's time to concede. You know, this is tank for Tua. You know, this is all. That's all that the Dolphins are doing. They're tanking for Tua. That's pretty much it. You know, uh, it's it's really bad out there, man. Let me tell you. Bills take care of business. Titans get a big, oh, excuse me, get a big, big victory against the Chargers. Chargers have just been unlucky, too. They, they're another team that's just like, wow, uh, how in the world do we keep losing games, you know? Um, they fumble on the goal line. Melvin Gordon fumbles on the goal line, and thus the Titans get the victory. So, you know, crazy, crazy things have happened, you know. Uh, and then the big afternoon games, you know, the Saints easily took care of the Bears. Mitchell Trubisky is just god-awful, and Teddy Bridgewater keeps throwing up dimes. The Saints offense is just looking good under his watch while Drew Brees is still out. Yeah, the Ravens, they took care of business and battled the black quarterbacks. You know, Lamar Jackson, man, that guy is fun to watch, let me tell you. That guy is very fun to watch. You got you to gotta feel for Mark Andrews, though. He dropped a lot of balls during that game, let me tell you. Dropped a lot. Um, 
I don't know how we lost to the Jets. I really don't know. But the Patriots, you know, they beat the absolute dog shit out of the Jets. 33 nothing. Vitally, of course, we got those Dallas Cowboys, baby. Oh, yes. What a game. Where was this during the last three weeks, huh? Where was this defense at? Where did they go? Where did this offense go? Where did they go? They played excellent. All three phases of the game played excellent. Going into the bye, we're in the lead of the division right now. And it's feeling pretty good right now for the Boaz. It's feeling pretty, pretty good. Let me tell you that. Dak, efficient. Zeke over 100 yards. You know, Amari Cooper making catches. Um, I mean, and, and when he's just not looking all that great. Let me tell you, it's he's still, I guess he's still recovering from that injury. You know, you know, it, it just takes time. Um, but the Eagles, they're they're not looking too great right now. They 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 gotta they gotta fix a lot of stuff if they want to. They want to get back to the playoffs. Uh, the Cowboys still got to fix some things too. We get, we do. We're on the bye week now, so we got to fix some things ourselves. Uh, you know, got to keep this momentum going and keep getting victories. So that's it. That's week seven in a nutshell. Uh, not a lot happened this week. It's just a lot of blowouts. A lot of blowouts. A lot of games that weren't even close. Peace.